so okay so welcome you all to this course of uh, data analytics advanced excel this is class 1 day 1 of advanced excel course and uh, i'm going to show you how you can use the website for the different resources and to uh, access the recording of the course so you just need to go to excelvibes.graphy.com and you have to log in through your account through which you have registered Okay, so you can use your uh, account, your Gmail account through which you have registered. And once you will uh, open your account, you will go to courses and it will show the courses that you have already enrolled into. So this is the course which is there. Since I have not enrolled through my this account, so uh, I will not be able to see the details but when you open the uh, link through your registered email id you will be able to see all the curriculum and all the courses uh, or the things which are available so we have device curriculum so there is one attachment over here you can click on the attachment and you can uh, view this uh, it will be downloaded when you click on this right then we have day one uh, there are two attachments over it so this is uh, not available for someone who is not registered for the course. So I will log in through my master ID and I will show you how you can access the different uh, materials which are already there. If you have any issues in accessing the website, you can write in the chat box. Uh, some people have directly uh, sent me the amount on my GPA. They might not have registered through the website. So you will not get the access to the course until unless you, rec uh, you register the website. So if you have directly made the payment, uh, I would uh, suggest that you register and I will uh, transfer back the money to you, which you have directly paid to the account. People who have registered for a single day course, uh, they, they will be able to get the details. Uh, if you have registered for the full day course, full course, nine, seven days course, then you should register through the website only. So this is the course uh, builder. So uh, this is the live class with that you are watching. So that is there. So whatever, suppose this is one uh, PDF that I have, one JPG that I have uploaded. So you can download it and it will be there in your download folder. So whatever files I'm going to use, I will be sharing it in the course struct material. And for today's class, I will be sharing it in the chat box also. So you can uh, download the files from the chat box and uh, keep it ready for use. And you can use the dashboard also, the website also to download the files that we are going to use. Okay. So I'm going to share one Excel file uh, that we are going to use there is one file which i've already shared to you there's one text file uh you can see in the chat box you will see one file can you see the file in the chat box everyone is the file visible to you in the yes, chat box? yes sir okay so there are two files which i've shared one is startup data and the other one is dacae ev day one text functions Today, as we all know that we are going to, yes, sir. yeah, today is day one and we are going to cover data cleaning. We are going to start with very basics of Excel because some people have uh, messaged me that they are joining the course for the first time or they are using Excel from the very beginning. So uh, this course, uh, I'm, I have designed keeping in view that people would be using Excel for the first time. So if you are learning it for the first time, if you're already used Excel, both uh, for both kind of participants, this going uh, course is going to be productive because if you're already using Excel, I will show you some tricks which you might not know and which will be helpful in your day-to-day uh, -day working. And secondly, if you're using Excel for the first time, then also you will be able to learn a different uh, tricks and tips which will be helpful in your work okay i hope everyone is comfortable with english or should i use mix of both hindi and english you can write in the chat box if you want me to use hindi also 
because uh, there will be people from different uh, places, different states. So if you are comfortable in Hindi or English, you can message in the chat box. Accordingly, we will use uh, uh, the language. Okay, is basically English, but some times I will repeat the things in Hindi also so that it becomes easy to understand. And maximum time we'll be uh, using English because some participants are from South. And South people are always particular about using English in the class. Okay, fine. <clears throat> so just a ritual before the, the class, uh, everyone, can you just uh, put on your camera for a minute? So that I can uh, I can see the participants faces and then we shall start with the class. If you are comfortable, you can just switch on your uh, cameras so that I know that you are you are just not logged into the class, but you are actively listening to me. That is also required uh, as a screenshot. So as to take the attendance, yeah. So I'm just waiting for a few more participants. Uh, Damodar, uh, Tanish. Uh, Manish Jyoti has turned on. Okay. Nerik Bansal uh, and Shivananda. Okay. So I hope uh, you are all excited about the course. Are you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We all are excited. Great. Great. So even I'm excited to teach you all and let us start without wasting much time. Uh, okay, you can now close your cameras and uh, now we can focus on learning. Okay, so first file that we are going to use is the, uh, no problem. So first file that we are going to use is the day one, file dac data cleaning excuse file. me sir yes sorry to interrupt but sir kya wo aap file dobara sir chat box mein send kar sakte hain dono main kar deta hu theek hai i will share the both the files because some people have just logged in so uh, i'm sharing the file again in the chat box wait so there is one file which i have shared data startup data and uh, one more file I'm sharing. Okay. So now you can open both the files. We are going to work on these files. I will share more files uh, in the course. First, just open the file which I have shared Excel file and even the text file. I hope you have got the file now, Tanish. Yes, sir. Okay. Great. Now, before I start uh, with day one, okay, let me just show you what we are going to learn in the seven days course. All have registered for the entire course. So, before starting with the day one, I am just going to uh, take you across the course and uh, <clears throat> I hope you can see the screen now. Yes, sir. Yeah, so it's a nine hours course basically and uh, 90 minute sessions, live sessions will be there on a daily basis. And uh, we are going to cover nine hours, uh, 90 minutes class and six days course, right? So I will be covering some corporate case studies. Uh, we will give you daily practice assignments. The recordings will be available. You will get a certificate of completion. You will get a lifetime access to a white Sox community. The group which is there that is going to be alive uh, forever and I will share you multiple excel sheets at the end of the course for your practice okay the timings will be 9 to 10 30 as you have already logged in so today day one we are going to talk about uh, data cleaning see I have structured this course in a sequential manner so if you are using excel for the first time uh, then you will get an idea of how to use excel okay excel kaha kaha use hota hai, kaise use kar sakte hai, and what is the right approach in learning Excel, okay. So, first, we talk about data. Baat karte, ki data clean, how to clean data. How to import the data? How to make the data usable, right? So, I will be covering three things today. One is conditional formatting tips, text functions, and cell functions. 
I will uh, let you know what do you mean by functions and formulas. We will cover some basic theory part also and then practical. Okay. That is the agenda for today. Second day, day two, that is tomorrow. I will be doing data screening. So screening means filtering. So when we talk about filter, uh, one word comes to one into your mind that is uh, data sorting. So I will be talking about sorting and filtering and we will be, we will be using advanced filter also. Uh, so I will teach you how to use advanced filter and then uh, important aspect that is dependent drop down list. How to create a drop down list that is what I'm going to cover in day two. Day three is data crunching. Now, what do you mean by crunching? Can anyone tell me what is the meaning of the word crunch? Sir, I think so. Interpreting the data. Interpreting data. the data. Okay. Anyone else? Interpreting the data. Who would like to try? What is data crunching? To extract useful data or just like squeezing uh, useful or materialistic data. Okay. Data from yeah. So you're data. right. Uh, using the useful data. Okay. So uh, we, we whenever we have a data, some of the columns and rows are not that important. Some are very important. So we will learn how to crunch the data, how to use the data, which is important, how to use the lookup functions to find out the values from the data to extract the information from the data, which is required. And we will also look into power query. So uh, one more announcement that I want to do is that I'm using 2019 uh, version of Excel and I will be using 365 also. And uh, if you're using 2007, 2013, 2000, uh, any version which is uh, older than 2013, then I would recommend that you switch to 2016 or 19 because some of the functions will not work in 13. Okay. Day four, we will be covering financial data analysis. So that will help you in understanding some of the basic financial functions like NPV, IRR, PMT, PV, FV then loan repayment schedule and EMI calculator. These are very important aspects whenever you are working with Excel. So that will also build some analytical skills in you or aapko ye financial jo aapka day to day uh, uh, financial life or personal finance us may be help karega. Okay. Next uh, day five will be data automation. So when you are comfortable with the day four, then in the day five, we will introduce macro visual basic. And we will learn how to automate a repeated task in Excel, whatever we are doing on a daily basis. We will try to automate some stuff so that we can uh, minimize our time and efforts uh, towards working on Excel. And then in the sixth day, on the sixth day, we are going to show you, I'm going to show you data visualization. So basically what is data visualization? Whenever we are presenting the data in Excel, the data should look uh, presentable, meaningful, and we can use graphs and charts. As you can see on the screen, uh, there are some charts and graphs which are visible. So that is what I'm going to show you, how you can create a pivot table, how you can create a pivot chart, how we can uh, use, uh, how we can create a dynamic dashboard in Excel. So even that is what I'm going to cover with you and then also power pivot. Most importantly, on the seventh day, I am going to conduct a live q &A session. So whatever we are doing in the last six days, on the seventh day, we'll revise everything. And whatever your doubts are relating to any of the day, we you are open to answer these questions. You, you, you can ask your questions and I will be there to answer them. Okay. So that is the curriculum. Anyone who has any confusion uh, or any, any queries as of now, because this is just the beginning. Okay. So I have showed you a roadmap what we are going to cover, and uh, most importantly, what you are supposed to do is whenever I'm teaching any skill, whenever I'm teaching any trick, just concentrate on learning it first. Don't try to practice it along. I will give you time uh, to practice. Okay. So first understand what is being done. Then try to do it because I will be sharing the recording also with you all. So you, there is no hurry, right? And suppose uh, there is a topic which is going on and uh, it is taking some time. 10.30 ke 10.40 ho jata hai, 45 ho jata hai. And if you are comfortable, 
then I don't mind extending the class by five or 10 minutes to cover, to complete the thing. I don't want things to uh, be left in between, right? So uh, with this, we will start with day one now. And uh, now you have to open the first Excel file that I've shared with you. This is the uh, file, uh, DACAEV, day one and text functions. Okay, now how do you name a file whenever you're working in Excel? So I had created this course. So I will be using different files, right? Uh, is the screen visible to you all? Yes, sir. now it is. Now it is, yes. yes. Okay, fine. great. So uh, day one, uh, I have just inserted an image over here. Now, when you see your Excel, you might see some grid lines also, right? But in my Excel, do you see the grid lines? In the sheet two and uh, in the other sheets, you can see the grid lines over there. But in the day one data cleaning, which I mentioned, do you see the grid lines over there or do you see a blank, plain, white background in Excel? Blank, plain, white background. Exactly. So what do you see is a blank, white background? Why? Uh, how we can do this? So today we are starting with data cleaning, right? So we are going to see how we can make our Excel look like a PowerPoint or, or, or a PDF, right? Because Excel is a tool which is used to analyze the data. Okay, so we will data analysis. But in data analysis, it is important that the data is present, bhi ho, right? And Excel ki file se you can convert the Excel file into a PDF also. You can generate reports also. Whenever we do data auditing and uh, finalization of accounts in Excel, uh, in Excel. So all the balance sheet, p &L, all the schedules, cash flows, they are all converted into PDF. So the challenge is how we can create a data in such a manner that it looks beautiful when we convert into Excel, uh, into PDF, right? So you go, you see that different uh, menu bars are there. Okay. So what I will uh, basically discuss with you some terminology also. So now I'm going to share another screen with you all. And I'm going to show you one image. Okay. Now how to insert an image in Excel. So first thing that you have is the name uh, is called as a title bar, which has the name of the file. Then you have the menu bar. So you have file menu. Okay. Uh, you have home tab. These are called as tabs and every tab has a different set of commands in Excel. Okay. So whenever you click on any tab, it will show you some set of commands. I'm just zooming my screen so that you can see it properly. Okay. So this is the home tab. Under the home tab, you will see many small, small buttons over there. What are these called? These are called as different commands, right? And what is this uh, layer called? What is this, this called? which contains all the command. Anyone who's use, who's used Excel in, uh, intensively, uh, can you tell me what is this called? Ribbon. Ribbon, very good. So this is called as ribbon. So ribbon has many commands, okay? And what is this called? These icons which you can see uh, just below the ribbon. What quick is access toolbar. Very good. So this is called as a quick access quick toolbar access. because you can quickly access any of the commands. Okay. So uh, suppose I want to increase the font size. I will write my name over here. Okay. So this is, I have written my name over here. Suppose I want to increase the font size, right? So there are some buttons over here, but I have created a icon over here. I can just click on it and it will increase the size. Okay. If I want to check some grammatical uh, errors. Okay. So how are you doing okay and how are me doing so i have written these two sentences okay now i want to analyze the grammatical error or, or the smellings uh, <clears throat> so you can check so let me just do some mistakes over here and let me just do it again so do you want to check that from the beginning of the sheet yes Spell check complete. It's not showing the error, but yeah. Uh, quick access toolbar help you in uh, bringing some of the commands which you use intensively so that you can, you don't have to look for the uh, area or, or the tabs. Okay. So we I will also show you how to customize Excel. 
so that you can introduce all these commands in the quick access toolbar. Okay, what is this called? This box which is having the T10. Name box. Exactly, this is called as the name box. So name box uh, tells you about the location of the cell. Okay, so right now I am at A1. A1 is the first cell in Excel. Excel is made of rows and columns. It is made up of rows and columns, right? So how many rows are there in Excel? What is the total number of rows in Excel? Can you see the last row? 1,48,576. No, it is not 1 lakh. Can you read it again? Can you 10 lakhs 48,000. Exactly. 10 lakh 40. Uh, it is 10,48,576. So Excel is huge. It is not restricted only to 1 lakh rows. It is. Uh, it can accommodate data up to 10,48,576 rows. And what about the number of columns, if I ask you? How many columns are there in Excel? What is the last column? So columns are represented by alphabets. A, B, C, D से आपको columns represent होते हैं और जो rows हैं, rows are always represented by numbers. Okay, that is how you identify a row and a column in Excel. Okay, so uh, sir, uh, these number of rows and columns are depends on Excel version or they are fixed. Uh, they are no fixed. matter what is the version of every Excel. Excel version, it is always same. The number of rows and columns okay. are same in all the versions of Excel. Okay, uh, Excel versions may difference kya hota hai ki jo functions hota hai Excel ke ya jo formulas hota hai jaise Excel apna version update karta hai to nai nai functions ya features aapko dikhai dete hai. Thik hai, jaise suppose uh, just to uh, answer your query, tell me what you want to do. This is the feature which is available in 2019 only. Thik hai, now suppose I want to find something about rows, to maine yaha pe likh diya row. So it will give me some help about the rows and columns or whatever. Okay, add a comment, insert a table. So whatever I want to do, I can just simply type it over here. So this is an advanced feature which is not there in 2013. Okay, so whatever I want to do, I can simply type it over here. But the number of rows and columns are always same in all the functions, all the versions of Excel. Chaliye. Okay, so, is there any any summary you are having the differences among all the versions of Excel? So I will provide it to you. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Anu, uh, just a query. Yeah. Uh, how to reach on the last column or last row? Any okay. shortcut? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So how do we navigate in Excel? Okay. So uh, basically use the arrow keys to move. Okay. You can see a blue box uh, on the screen. Can you see this blue box? So uh, basically I use the software when I am training uh, on Excel. So whatever keys I'm pressing on my keyboard, you will be able to see. So now I'm pressing the down key uh, and up key. So how do you navigate in Excel? You use the arrow keys. But suppose I want to go to the last cell in Excel, in the column, then I have to use control. So control plus right arrow. Control and right arrow, when you press this key in Excel, okay, that will take you to the last column in the Excel. Okay, last column. But suppose I am writing something over here. This is column M. And I've written column K. Okay. Now, when I'm here in uh, column A and cell number one, and I press control and right arrow key, where do I get? Main kaha pause gaya? People, where I am? Which cell I'm on? Which cell I am on? F1. F1. And when F1. again I press control and right arrow, F1. I A1. A1. Okay. So what 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 do you understand by, by this? What do you understand by this exercise? Control right arrow. So next build up. Uh, exactly. Right yes. Control right jo arrow hai, wo aapko next filled cell pe leke jayega okay suppose i write something over here this is uh, the last alphabet in english okay so now i'm here a from a 
I press control right arrow, it takes me to F. When I press control right arrow, it takes me to K. When I press control and right arrow again, it takes me to Z because that is the last cell which is filled. And then again, when I press control right arrow, it will take me to the last column. Now, I want to find out the column number. What is the column number? It is showing me an alphabet X, F, D. If I want to find out the number of columns in Excel, how can I find out? Can anyone tell me an answer for this? Anyone who knows this? Okay, how to find out the number of column in Excel? Arushi? Anyone? No. Okay. Let me give you the answer. No. So there, there is a formula, there is a function basically which you can use in Excel, which is called as column. Okay, so is equal to column when you type returns the column number of a reference. Okay, and you press enter. Okay, you uh so one uh basic thing when you are using uh Excel. Whenever you write any function and a formula, okay, we will talk also talk about what is the difference between a function and a formula. But whenever you are talking, whenever you are writing any function or formula, it has to be preceded by a is equal to sign. So, agar aap bina is equal to ke kuch likhenge, to normal text aega. Okay, suppose I write down sum. So, it is just showing me a, a, a simple word sum. But when I Precede it with the equals to sign and I write down sum, it becomes a function. Okay. So functions are predefined in Excel. Function pale se defined. Pale se kya hai? Function already defined. Hai. So these are already defined in Excel, right? And uh, whenever you use any function, you have to define some parameters inside the function. So suppose mane likha hai aap is equal to sum 12 and 23. This I have to put in the bracket. So suppose I want to use, I want to find out the column number. So what I will do is I will write down is equal to column. And I will open the bracket and close the bracket. I don't want to give any reference. Okay. So many people don't know this uh, thing in Excel that whenever you type any formula or function, okay, Excel gives you a hint as to what it wants you to type in the formula okay what it wants you to give the input as so jaise uh, uh, likha is equal to column you will you are getting two options right and there is one icon fx so fx stands for function or column ke saath mein kya likha hai? returns the column number of a reference now when i press columns what it is saying return the number of columns in an array or reference so now can you tell me what is the difference between the function column and columns? What is the difference between the function column and columns? Anyone? What is the array? A double R A Y array. What is the meaning of this word array? This is argument of a function. Argument of a function. Okay, fine. Or we can say that uh, a range is also an array in a table. Okay. So suppose I create a table over here, serial number, name, and uh, maybe age. Okay. Now I select all these three cells and now I am writing a formula column. Columns. And it is asking me our range or an array. I will select all these three and I will say enter. So now what it is giving me as answer. What I'm getting as a result. So number, number of columns. Of columns. Total number, total of number, columns. Of columns. number of columns. Okay. And here what I'm getting as a result. 16,384. What is the difference between these two? Here I have used column. Here I have used the function columns. So what is the difference between the result of these two? What is this 16,384? What represent kar hai? This is telling the column number and that is uh, the total that number of columns. Telling the use number present in Excel. Exactly. Haan. This is this is telling me the 
exact a reference of a number uh, of a column okay the cell address the uh, column number suppose i i i apply the formula over here is equal to column it will give me a different number 16373 that means this xes xes column is column number 16383 okay now suppose i add some more columns over here okay i add some more columns over here and now i write this formula columns and i select all these in series okay all these now what do i get what do i get six why i'm getting six because there are six columns okay now suppose i do except d1 now i'm getting what nine as answer because there are nine columns from this so why we should uh, know all these functions and formulas because when you know all these functions and formulas you can use them at multiple places to solve multiple things okay now coming back to uh, day one because uh, the topic is data cleaning right and I'm teaching you rows and columns because this is something which is very basic and it is day one. So I want your basics to be very clear before we move further. Okay. So we were talking about the rows and columns and the ribbon and the quick access toolbar. Okay. And I was, I had asked you, okay, you do not see the grid line. So your grid lines chali kahan gai? Ya chali kaise gai? Okay. That is what you should be looking at as an answer. Okay. Now, uh, see, I have a different way of taking uh, trainings or teaching. I don't want anything to be uh, fed to you as a uh, with a spoon. Okay, I don't do spoon feeding. Okay, sab kuch main aapko sikha do. Okay, what I my way of teaching is I inculcate the habit of uh, exploring things because Excel is a huge ocean. Okay, बहुत सारे functions हैं. इतने हैं कि आप उम्र भर भी अगर एक्सेल हर दिन 24 घंटे अगर आप एक्सेल सीखते रहें तो भी एक उम्र में पूरा एक्सेल नहीं सीखा जा सकता इतना है एक्सेल के अंदर ठीक है तो एक 90 मिनट्स की क्लास के अंदर मैं आपको कितना सिखा दूंगा या 9 घंटे की क्लास में आप मुझसे कितना सीख लेंगे ठीक है वो किस पे डिपेंड करेगा वो इस पे डिपेंड करेगा कि मैं आपको एक रोड मैप दे दूं एक तरीका बता दूं कि एक्सेल को यूज कैसे करते हैं और उसके बाद जब भी आप एक्सेल खोलें तो आप उसको इसी तरीके से यूज करें जिस तरीके से मैंने आपको उसको सिखाया है तो ये जो लर्निंग होगी ये 9 दिन बाद भी कंटिन्यू रहेगी 9 घंटे बाद भी कंटिन्यू रहेगी एंड व्हेनेवर यू विल यूज एक्सेल यू विल फाइंड समथिंग न्यू समथिंग इंटरेस्टिंग कि आज कुछ और सीखना है नया सीखना है ठीक है दैट इज हाउ योर अप्रोच शुड बी इन लर्निंग एंड दैट इज द अप्रोच दैट आई फॉलो व्हेन आई टीच सो टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस अब हम ग्रेड लाइन की बात करते हैं ठीक है So uh, there are different tabs. Home tab may kya hota hai? Uh, I will just spend two more minutes on the home tab, uh, on these tabs, and then we will start with the data cleaning. Okay. So home tab basically contains all the commands which are relating to formatting. Because today we are data cleaning. So you will see all the icons on home tab. They come from the data cleaning. Okay. In the insert tab, if we want to insert an object outside of Excel, so insert tab se hota hai, hai? So you can insert a word art, you can insert any symbol, text box, any image. So I have a image here. I have a picture insert. So I want I'm showing you how to insert one more picture in Excel. So here I have Excel terminology karke ek file maine already download kar rakhi hai, image. And I want to insert that image here. So when I click on this image insert and picture, it comes into Excel. Okay, so Excel me aaya. Lekin ye overlap ho gaya. Meri picture ke upar ye kar picture aage. So I can just place it near it. Okay. So this is an image which I have inserted. Or aap isko format bhi kar sakte hain. Aap crop bhi kar sakte hain. This is how you can work with images in Excel. Okay. Because kahi baar kya hota hai ki you are working in a company and the company is selling different products. ठीक है तो कंपनी आपको चार्ट बोलती है कि आपको एक कैटलॉग तैयार करना है जिसमें प्रोडक्ट का इमेज होना चाहिए उसका प्राइस होना चाहिए और वो हमें डिस्ट्रीब्यूटर को देना है तो आप इमेज कैसे इंसर्ट करेंगे वो आपको आना चाहिए तो दिस इज आई हैव शोन यू यूजिंग द इंसर्ट की ठीक है देन यू हैव ड्रॉ 
so you can draw in excel suppose i want to write something i want to highlight something so i can use uh, the tool of pen over here so this is i'm writing day one okay so you can use a a pen to write okay you can use a highlighter to highlight also things okay so ye mujhe highlight karna tha to maine highlighter use karke highlight kar diya okay these all are additional features which are available you can use a eraser to erase things like that okay so you have page layout that is used to see the display of the page suppose i want to change the color of the page background color mujhe agar change karna hai theme change karni hai तो मैं यहां से कर सकता हूं ठीक है ये अपने पावर पॉइंट में देखा होगा लेकिन ये एक्सेल में भी अवेलेबल होता है दिस इज अवेलेबल इन एक्सेल आल्सो ठीक है सो देर आर सो मेनी थिंग्स टू एक्सप्लोर ठीक है यू कैन यूज वी कैन यूज अ बैकग्राउंड इमेज आल्सो सपोज आई वांट दैट माय लोगो ऑफ माय कंपनी शुड बी देयर व्हेनेवर आई एम शेयरिंग एनी ऑफ माय मटेरियल आई ऑलवेज वांट दैट माय लोगो शुड ऑलवेज अपीयर so this is something new that you might have seen theek hai ab aapko piche kya dikhai de raha hai excel wipes dikhai de raha hai aapko can you see that excel wipes i can everywhere yes sir yes sir okay so this is a image have we inserted any image or it is a background is it a image or a background and what is the difference between the both सी यहां पर ये इमेज है ठीक है तो इमेज इज कमिंग इन फ्रंट ऑफ द बैकग्राउंड राइट व्हेन यू से सेंड टू बैक तो भी ये यहीं पर रह रही है ठीक है लेकिन ये जो है ना यहां पे आप टाइप भी कर सकते हैं आई कैन टाइप एनीथिंग ओवर हियर एंड इट विल स्टिल बी विजिबल ठीक है लेट मी इंक्रीज द साइज ऑफ द टेक्स्ट यू विल बी एबल टू सी दिस ओके सो दिस इज समथिंग लाइक अ वाटरमार्क इन वर्ड so people don't know how to insert a watermark in excel but if you have joined my class you will be able to understand this okay to so, humne kahan se kiya page layout mein gaye aur page layout mein humne background insert kiya how to delete just click on delete background this will go away okay then print titles all these things that i will cover in the next part formulas okay so now what is the difference between a formula and a function in excel sir hmm yes sir, can you please repeat that how to add background okay so you go to page layout page layout mein ek option hota hai background ka you can see that option is there theek hai background when you click on it it will ask you to select a picture okay so it will ask you to select a picture so you can select any image suppose i want to insert this background so i have selected this background okay now it will it will show me the background spread across the excel sheet theek hai और ये इसी शीट में दिखाई देगा आपको इसी शीट में दिखाई देगा मतलब व्हेन यू गो टू द नेक्स्ट शीट इट विल नॉट शो यू द बैकग्राउंड बिकॉज यू हैव इंसर्टेड ओनली इन अ सिंगल शीट क्लियर यस सर यस सर ओके नाउ इफ आई टू रिमूव आई कैन जस्ट सिंपली से डिलीट राइट व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन अ फॉर्मुला एंड अ फंक्शन एनी Uh, who uses Excel and who is using Excel? क्या आपको ये पता है कि formula और function में difference क्या होता है? Functions are predefined and formulas can be created. Okay. And who is that who has answered this? Arushi. Yes, sir. Okay. So functions are predefined. अभी मैंने आपको एक example दिया था. Uh, just a minute. Yeah, Abhi, uh, just uh, some moment back, I had given you an example of a column function, right? So functions are always predefined. Let me just stop my screen sharing, and uh, I will share my screen again. Are you able to see the screen? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. सो फंक्शंस आर प्री डिफाइंड ठीक है जैसे सम की बात करते हैं तो हम अगर हम लिखेंगे टोटल तो एक्सेल विल नॉट डू द टोटल ऑफ नंबर्स बाय यूजिंग टोटल व्हेन यू टॉक अबाउट मल्टीप्लाई देयर इज नो फंक्शन कॉल्ड एज मल्टीप्लाई व्हेन यू टॉक अबाउट डिवाइड देयर इज नो फंक्शन कॉल्ड एज डिवाइड इन एक्सेल सो फंक्शंस का मतलब क्या होता है व्हिच इज ऑलरेडी प्री डिफाइंड इन एक्सेल जो पहले से डिफाइंड है उसे हम फंक्शन बोलते हैं और जो डिफाइंड नहीं है उसे हम फार्मूला बोलते हैं तो फार्मूला यू कैन क्रिएट एंड हाउ डू यू क्रिएट अ फार्मूला 
in Excel. How do you create a formula in Excel? And what kind of formulas can you create in Excel? I'm waiting for an answer. When we write uh, equals to A1 plus B3 plus okay. A5 right. minus 20. Okay. Okay. Correct. Absolutely correct. So formula is something that we can define to Excel. We can write 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2. That is also a formula in Excel that we can define. ठीक है टू एक्सेल और एक्सेल उसको एक्सेक्यूट करेगा लेकिन कब करेगा जब आप इज इक्वल टू साइन के साथ में कोई फॉर्मूला लिखते हैं ठीक है फंक्शन को भी यूज करने के लिए आपको इक्वल टू साइन लगाना पड़ेगा उसके बाद ही एक्सेल उसको एक्सेप्ट करेगा उसको आइडेंटिफाई करेगा कि हां यू आर यूजिंग अ फंक्शन और अ फार्मूला नाउ ओके सो आई विल शो यू सम एग्जांपल्स ऑफ फंक्शंस नाउ एंड नाउ वी आर स्टार्टिंग विद द डेटा क्लीनिंग पार्ट ओके so why I'm taking this as a first topic for the day because uh, this is very basic. Okay, so we'll start from basic. Se start karenge, uske baad dhiri dhiri advanced level. Pe jayenge, okay, so you can see that I have written some names over here. This is the first name. Okay, and uh, now I've written upper, lower and proper. Okay, so now these names are in small caps. Mein hai. Can you see that all are in the small caps? Right? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, what I will do, uh, now what I want is, I want to convert this into a upper case. Okay? Isko hum capital letter mein likhna chate hai. So, agar aapne word use kiya hai, I will open word also and I will show you something uh, which is related here. Okay? So, wo aapko easily saan mein aega ki what, uh, why we have to use functions and formulas in Excel. Okay? Why we have to use functions and formulas in Excel. Can you see the word document now? Yes, Can you sir. see the word document now? Yes, sir. Okay. Now I'm writing Alok City over here and I'm writing Excel Vibes. Okay. And uh, I'm writing day one. So when I'm pressing uh, space, okay, data cleaning. You see that automatically the first letter is getting capital. capital right? Suppose I want to convert all this into upper caps in word. In word. How can we do so? Anyone? Agar mujhe in sabko capital letter me karna hai, kaise karenge bataiye? Kya mein phir se type karu? English uh, cap, caps on karke? Ya koi aur tarika hai? Yes. Is there any way to do it in Word? Anyone who uses Word, I hope you can tell this. By changing it to uppercase. How do you how do, do that? That is what I'm asking. Is there a tool here? Is tool here? In the font section, can you see something? See, you can see sentence case, low yes, capitalize, capitalize the word. Ha. Capitalize each word will capitalize only the first word or the, the, the word in the first word in the sentence. Now, when I want to capitalize everything, I will have to use upper cap. Take a upper case. Agar mein isko capitalize each word karta hon, so, ये पहला पहला word जो है उसको capitalize पहला alphabet जो है ना उसको capitalize कर देगा ठीक है लेकिन जब मुझे सबको ही capital letter में करना है तो फिर I can simply do it using upper case और अब मुझे upper case से अगर lower case करना है तो I can again do it using lower case but आप इसको ध्यान से देखिएगा इस फॉन्ट सेक्शन को अच्छे से देख लीजिए आई एम ज़ूमिंग इट इस फॉन्ट सेक्शन की एक इमेज अपने दिमाग में क्लिक कर लीजिए ठीक है नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू द सेम थिंग इन एक्सेल ठीक है यही जो फॉन्ट सेक्शन है ये मैं आपको एक्सेल में दिखा रहा हूं आई वी आर कमिंग बैक टू एक्सेल नाउ और अब आपको एक्सेल की स्क्रीन दिखाई देगी ठीक है कैन यू सी द एक्सेल स्क्रीन नाउ 
Can you see the Excel screen now? Yes. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Can you see the font section in Excel? That is not visible, actually. Excel is not, not, visible. not visible. What is not visible? The screen. Excel screen. screen. Okay. 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 Let me just share it again. Uh, is it now visible? Yes, sir. Is it now visible? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Can you see the font section over here in Excel? Can you see the font section? Yes. Okay. Can you see the uh, uh, change case option in Excel? Yahan pe dikh raha aapko? Upper case, lower case, jo humne kiya tha, wo yahan dikhai de raha hai. Kahin pe option hai? Pure font section mein. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. तो बिल गेट जब एक्सेल ये बना रहे थे माइक्रोसॉफ्ट तो भूल गए ये फंक्शन डालना और उसके बाद इतने सारे अपडेट आ गए लेकिन उन्होंने आज तक अपडेट नहीं किया कभी भी ऐसा है एम आर राइट आप बोल रहे तो राइट ही होगा <laughs> नहीं मैं बोल रहा हूँ तो राइट नहीं होना चाहिए आपको अगर राइट लगता है तो राइट होगा <laughs> हाँ मेरे बोलने से नहीं ऐसा नहीं है कि आपको मेरे को ब्लाइंड फेथ करना है ऑब्वियसली आई एम टीचिंग एंड आई एम आई एम अ ट्रेनर बट वॉट एवर आई से यू डोंट हैव टू ब्लाइंडली ट्रस्ट मी यू हैव टू अप्लाई योर ब्रेन ऑल्सो ठीक है तो मैं बोल रहा हूँ वो भूल गया इसका मतलब ये नहीं कि वो भूल गया है है ना इसका कारण है नहीं होने का क्योंकि जब आप कोई कोई टेक्स्ट लिखते हैं एक्सेल के अंदर तो हाउ डू वो एट सेल आइडेंटिफाई कि ये स्मॉल कैप है लोअर केस है ठीक है वर्ड में तो क्या होता है कि इट इज अ वर्ड डॉक्यूमेंट तो उसका सेटिंग इस तरीके से है कि वो सारे वर्ड्स को आइडेंटिफाई कर लेता है एक्सेल में नहीं कर पाते ठीक है एक्सेल डजन अंडरस्टैंड कि ये नंबर लिख रहे हैं या टेक्स्ट लिख रहे हैं यहाँ पे मैंने नंबर लिखा है ठीक है आई विल टेल यू समथिंग वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग वेन यू टाइप समथिंग इन एक्सेल अगर आप कोई एल्फाबेट टाइप करेंगे तो लेफ्ट में रहेगा और जैसे ही आप नंबर टाइप करेंगे सपोज आई टाइप माई मोबाइल नंबर ओवर ईयर ठीक है आप देखेंगे मैंने जैसे एंटर पास प्रेस करा है नंबर्स कहा चले गए हैं टुवर्ड्स द राइट साइड टुवर्ड्स द राइट साइड ठीक है एंड आई एम राइटिंग अ टेक्स्ट ओवर हियर वेयर इट इज इट इज ऑन द लेफ्ट साइड ऑन द लेफ्ट दिस इज द नॉर्मल सेटिंग इन एक्सेल ठीक है अब आपको लेफ्ट राइट को सेंटर में लाना है तो आप कैसे करेंगे ठीक है ये सेलेक्ट करेंगे सारे कौन हाउ डू यू सेलेक्ट द एंटायर फील्ड इन एक्सेल शिफ्ट दबा के डाउन एरो की के साथ आपको नीचे आना है शिफ्ट दबा के ठीक है when you press control and you move it it toggles to the filled areas theek hai jahan pe text likha hai wo wahan wahan aapko jump karayega kaun sa ki control lekin jab aap shift dabate hain shift dabate hain to shift select karne ka kaam karta hai kya karta hai select karne ka kaam karta hai theek hai ab koi puchega sir hum control aur shift ko jab ek sath press karenge to kya hoga theek hai so control shift and down 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 kya ho raha hai bata sakte hain when i'm pressing the control and shift together and down arrow what is happening can you observe hello Can you hear me? क्या आपकी मेरी आवाज आप तो पहुंच रही है हाँ आवाज आ रही है yes, sir. Sir, जहां तक सेल फिल है वहां तक सर वो एक पूरा सेलेक्ट हो जा रहा है हाँ आवाज आ रही है लेकिन आंसर नहीं आ रहा था तो आई वॉज चेकिंग की आवाज जा रही है वो एक पूरा सेलेक्ट हो जा रहा है हाँ अब देखिए वो क्या रहा है है ना वो क्या रहा है कि जहां पे भी एरिया है वो सारा एक साथ सिलेक्ट हो रहा है जब कंट्रोल डाउन एरो की अप एरो की करते हैं तो पूरा सिलेक्ट हो जाता है ठीक है तो ये कुछ बेसिक चीजें मैंने बताई आपको अब थोड़ा सा फंक्शंस के बारे में बात करते हैं फंक्शन और फॉर्मुला में क्या डिफरेंस होता है फर्स्ट आई विल एक्सप्लेन देन लेट अस डू दिस बिकॉज वी आर अप्रोचिंग द एंड ऑफ द सेशन और लोग बोलेंगे डे वन में डेटा क्लीनिंग बताने वाले थे अभी तक कुछ क्लीनिंग नहीं हुआ है ठीक है तो आप साफ सफाई कर लेते हैं थोड़ी सी तो टू प्लस थ्री प्लस फाइव माइनस ट्वेंटी ये मैंने किया ये कैलकुलेट करके इसने मुझे बता दिया दिस इज द फॉर्मूला दिस इज द फॉर्मूला ठीक है 
इफ आई राइट समथिंग लाइक दिस सम एंड सम नंबर आई टाइप ठीक है रेंडम नंबर मैंने लिख दिया कुछ कुछ और क्लोज करके यहाँ पे भी इसने क्या करा टोटल करके दे दिया दिस इज द फॉर्मूला एंड दिस इज द फंक्शन ये एक फॉर्मूला है Is the screen visible? Sir, you are not audible. Is the screen visible? अभी screen दिखाई दे रही है आपको? Is my screen visible to you all? Uh, you can reply in the chat box. Is the screen visible? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Okay, fine. Chali, let us let us talk about the uh, functions now. Text functions now. ठीक है. तो पहला requirement मेरा क्या है कि जो मैंने यहाँ पे name लिखा है, उसको मुझे upper case में करना है. ठीक है. And you can see there is no icon over here to convert the text into a upper uh, case or a lower case. So what I will have to do is I will have to type a function. So what function I will use? I will write down upper, ठीक है? तो upper जैसे मैंने type किया यहाँ पर, वो क्या बता रहा है मुझे? Sir, again your voice is not coming. Yes, sir. Wait, wait. Just, just hold on for a minute. Is it now uh, audible? Yeah, am I audible now? Yes, yes, sir. Okay, great. Fine. अपर फॉर्मैट ठीक है अपर केस सो आई विल टाइप अपर वेन आई टाइप अपर इट इज गिविंग मी अंट इट इज गिविंग मी अंट वॉट इट इज शोइंग मी वॉट इज टेलिंग मी इट इज टेलिंग मी कन्वर्ट्स अ टेक्स्ट स्ट्रिंग टू ऑल द अपर केस लेटर्स सो अपर Open the bracket and what it is asking inside the bracket. Batai. Again, you are not a devil. I am I audible now? Am I audible now? Am I audible now? Yes. Okay, so upper and that is asking for a text. So I will select the text from here and I will close the bracket. And you will see that now Amit Saxena is appearing in capital letters, right? Is it clear, everyone? Yes, sir. Now, how do how do you copy paste the formula in Excel? How do you copy paste the formula in Excel? ठीक है, so for that we will use control C and control V. What you are going to use control C and control V, right? So what you are going to do is you are going to use control C and control V. So control C that is copy and you will say control V. Can you see all the names getting converted into capital letters? Can you see all the names getting converted into capital letters? And also static screen. There is some network problem. Okay. Can you is the is is the network proper now? Can you see the screen now? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. so you can see that we have uh, converted all the small letter words into capital letters okay now i'm deleting it again i'm writing the same formula is equal to upper and i'm selecting this text now i will say tell you the different methods of copy pasting this data am i audible
okay so now what you will do is you can double click on it and that is uh, that is also another way of copy pasting the data instead of using control c control v we can simply double click on the first word at the bottom okay another way third way is to use control d control d so these are some shortcut keys one method was copy paste that is control t and control v second way is double click at the bottom corner of cell what is the third way control plus d okay these are the three ways of copying and pasting the data into excel okay now again suppose i have the words in upper letter and i want to convert into lower so for this you will use the function lower and you will select the text it will convert this into lower case clear and whenever you want to convert into proper case what do you mean by proper case anyone what is the meaning of proper case What is the meaning of proper case? Hello? Proper case ka kya matlab hota hai? Am I audible? Now you are audible, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. What is the meaning of proper case? What is the meaning of proper case? Okay, let us apply the formula of proper, the function of proper and select this. Now, what do you see as the output? What do you see in the output? The starting letter is capital and the rest is small. Exactly. Starting letter is capital. So what you have to remember is whenever you have to convert everything into capital, you have to use proper upper. Whenever you want to convert everything into lowercase, you have to use lower. And whenever you want the first alphabet to be in capital letters, you will use proper. Clear? Yes, sir. Okay. So this is yes, the, sir. This is the change case. This what we have discussed. The first command for the day is change case where you can change from upper to lower and bottom uh, proper case. Second thing that I'm going to show you now is second case that we're going to learn now is how to a sequence, how to extract the data. Suppose uh, there is a full name I will just write down instead of first name, I will say it is a full name. That means the first name and the surname, last name. Now what I want is I want to <coughs> have the first name over here and the last name over here. Okay. I want to split the name between the first name and last name. How can I do this in Excel? Tell me. Am I audible now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. Because see, there are some network issues at my place wherever I am uh, right now. So uh, that is why I keep on checking uh, whether I'm audible or not because uh, it's an online class. So the only way of communication is by uh, the chat box or the audio. Okay. So I request everyone to be active so that uh, I know that you are my voice is coming to you. Okay. Yes. So what is the first name? Uh, I want to split the name. Kaise hoga bataiye? So uske liye hum use karte hain left function. Left. Okay. So the first name is in the left. Correct. But every person has the different length of the name. Isn't it? 
इज इट और नॉट हर एक का नाम का टोटल लेंथ अलग है ना अब अगर आपको काउंट करना है कि क्या कितने अल्फाबेट से उसके नाम है तो आप कैसे करेंगे यू विल यूज द लेन फंक्शन लेन एल ई एन लेन विल गिव यू द लेंथ ऑफ द नेम सो अमित सक्सेना इज हैविंग इलेवन कैरेक्टर इंक्लूडिंग द स्पेस सुमित कुशावा इज हैविंग फोर्टीन कुणाल कुमार गोस्वामी इज हैविंग नाइनटीन कानिका माथुर इज हैविंग थर्टीन मोहम्मद अहमद कामिल इज हैविंग ट्वेंटी एंड सो ऑन एंड सो फोर ठीक है अब सबका फर्स्ट नाम और लास्ट नेम हमको अलग अलग करना है कैसे करेंगे हाउ कैन आई स्प्लिट द नेम ओके सो शेयर मे स्क्रीन अगेन इज द स्क्रीन विजिबल is the screen visible to you all so yes, sir, talking... now okay i was talking about how to split the name theek hai to kaise karenge you can simply write down amit over here amit <laughs> again voice is not coming 